is Tom Benus. I'm the CIO of Transport America, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction to our Weather Alerts project. We basically have monitored for three types of weather events, uh, trucks moving in a, in a weather alert area, loads that are going into a weather alert area, and then loads that are not yet dispatched that are headed into a weather alert area. This particular example up here is an example of a load that's dispatched and is headed into a weather alert area. We put, give it um, pertinent details so the fleet leader can see uh, how soon the truck will intersect with the weather alert and give them some details about the, the, the nature of the weather alert event that the, the driver will be uh, headed into and they can communicate with the driver and, and determine if uh, uh, something different needs to be done. Once the user clicks on the map link in here, they're taken over to uh, the ALK Maps product that uh, displays the, the variety of weather alerts that are in, the, in this uh, Zoom right now. Uh, we click on our truck, we can see some details about the truck, what it's doing right now. We can see its route, we can see its next stop, and I get some details about that from appointment time, and we can see the rest of his route as well. But this map gives the uh, fleet leader a visualization of the weather events and the various uh, types that are on the map right now. Um, that's what we got for now. That's a quick overlook of our uh, Weather Alerts project, and thanks for watching. Yeah, the, the weather alerts really are just one more tool that we give the drivers to empower them to make the right decisions. We tell the drivers, let the drivers know they have the final say on what is safe in regards to weather. Uh, if the roads are bad, they've got the final say of when to shut down. If they're fatigued, they've got the final say of when to shut down. This is one more tool we give them to empower them to make the, the correct decision or make, the, make a good decision uh, when they're on the road as to when they should pull off or not. Uh, it also gives them the information early enough so they can pull off the road. For example, be in a truck stop where they can get to a truck stop that has room left rather than going too far. And if the roads start getting bad, then all the truck stops are going to be filled up. So it gives them the opportunity to make a, a good decision. The customers have been very responsive to the weather alerts. Really, it all boils down to communication. Communication is key. The weather alerts have provided our customer service uh, managers to inform the customer um, directly, uh, proactively, and certainly with as much time as possible to um, any type of weather alert that may impact a load from delivering on time. And again, it really boils down to the communication and being in front or ahead of whatever event is going to delay that customer's freight. And again, they've been so responsive um, and accepting and appreciative, and that's, that's, it's really been a benefit for both sides.